what was on the review, okay? So if you haven't done the review, please make sure you've done it. Um, so first off, this is just kind of like a PDF version for a minute. Um, it says here on question number four, uh, what is the y-intercept for this graph? And so remember, your y-intercept is where you hit what? The y-intercept. It's where we hit the y-axis, right? And so if you look, that's the point we're concerned with. So that is negative 3, 0. Okay? So y-intercept, you hit the y-axis. If you were to plug it into the function, like if you were given an equation, you would plug in for the x, 0, and then go from there. Okay. Any questions about y-intercept? X-intercept. So what's the x-intercept, guys? Where you hit what? The x-axis. And so if you look at this graph, this is the point negative 3, 0, and this is the point negative 1, 0. So for it, if it was a true function, you are only going to see one x-axis, um, I'm sorry, one y-intercept, but you might see multiple x-intercepts. If we had the function written here and we wanted to find them algebraically, you would just set the function equal to zero and go ahead and solve it. So here you're going to have two answers. So this answer and that answer. Okay. Any questions on the x-intercepts from a graph? Makes sense, right? X-intercept X hits the x-axis. Sometimes they're called zeros. I will start using that a little more because as we go through it, that will be what they're called more in like a, a calculus sense and some of the stuff we're going to be doing. Domain is the set of what? Domain is the set of what? If you were to think of Yes. X values, exactly. So when you're looking at a graph, look at how it stretches from left to right, because left to right are the X values. And so if we look at this function, we're assuming it's going to keep getting wider and wider and wider. It's a parabola. And so because of that, um, we are going to assume that it is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay. Now the one that gets people is the range. The range is the bottom of the graph up to the top of the graph. It should follow that order. What is the bottom that we could possibly get to? We could get down as far as we wanted, right? So that would be negative infinity. And so we, we start at the bottom of negative infinity. What is the highest we're ever going to get to? What is the highest y value we're ever going to get to? positive 1. And so if you look, this is what fits that, okay? We started down at negative infinity. The highest we're ever, ever going to get is at positive 1. Is number 8, is that a function if it's a circle? No. Remember that vertical line test. So if you're given a graph and they say, hey, are you a function? Um, uh, if it doesn't pass the vertical line test, then you would say no, it is not in this case. Vertical line hits it in more than one location. This one, symmetry. Now, um, one of the last lessons we did was about, or last little pieces, was about symmetry. There are two kinds. If you have a parabola that is perfectly centered along the y-axis, it would have y-axis symmetry. If you have a function like number 9, like you could think of putting a little push pin in the center and rotating it 180 degrees and it wouldn't change. I think of kind of like a pinwheel. This, if I rotate it 180 degrees, would come down here. And if I spun it upward, that one would go here. And so you should see a piece in the first quadrant and a piece in the third kind of match, or second and fourth. And that's a good indication that it is an odd function with origin symmetry like this one. Okay. On a graph, if I say to find f of negative 2, what are you looking for? Somebody tell me, what, what am I searching for if I say to find f of negative 2? What do you think? 
guys are so too quiet. You can tell me. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I thought you were X and negative. Exactly. That's perfectly a great explanation. We were looking for the Y value where X was negative 2. That's it, the height. What height is it at negative 2? So if we look at an X value of negative 2, that's this. What height is that at? Well, that is a height of 1. So the answer is 1. So remember, it's exactly when this is the x, what's the height? What value am I at? So that's number 10. Number 11, what is f of 6? And I'm sorry, there was a typo before. I fixed it now, but uh, the quiz doesn't have a typo. But remember, your input is 6, which is bigger than 2. So this just tells you what input to, to look at. And since x would be bigger than 2, that's what we use. And so the answer is just 6 plus 3 or 9. So make sure to use the correct function. Now number 12, since it's right on the border, this is the only one that says where it's equal to 2. So f of 2 would be 2 squared minus 1 or 3. Okay. And then finally here, yep, this is the last one. It says, what is the interval notation for this uh, inequality? If you were to graph it, the graph is a really good indication of what your interval is going to look like. And so if you look, when we go less than negative 2, do you see how we gone to negative infinity, and then um, it's an open circle, so we would need uh, this one here. Do you see how the parenthesis on the 2 indicates an open circle? The bracket on the 5 indicates a closed circle, and then it keeps going to infinity. So remember, your interval should match exactly when you shade in and graph it. If it doesn't match it, one of the two is wrong. You either graphed it wrong or your interval is wrong. Remember, a bracket means equal. A parenthesis means an open circle not equal to. So that's pretty much what's on the quiz. Okay, does anybody have any questions before we begin that part of things? So um, I'm going to lock your screen once once you get started. If you have, um, if you want a sheet of scrap paper, um, there's some in the back there. I will give you partial credit on these types of quizzes uh, if on the scrap paper, you did one thing that was kind of correct, but you made a simple little weird mistake. Okay, A lot of these are just, you're going to get them right or wrong. But if you want to use a piece of scrap paper, feel free. There's some in the red bin there. Um, but uh, that's basically it. Any questions before we get started with the quiz? Yes? 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 Yes?